like a I don't know. <laughs> they don't take up a lot of, that's a weird looking swatch. What happened there? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and buoys for you today and this is probably gonna be like a relatively quick one. We'll see because I really don't have a ton of favorites this week because it's just been a busy week. It has been a busy few weeks. Just a lot going on, work stuff. I went on a work trip. My sister is getting married this weekend, which is super exciting. We are so thrilled for her and Robert. So that is this weekend. So just wedding things, work things, even hobby type things. Timothy had a belt test at karate. So just a lot going on. So I have like some quick makeup kind of favorites. Um, and then for that work trip, I just did a carry on. I don't think I've ever just done a carry on. So that was like really stretching me on my packing abilities and I was using little tiny makeup things. So I have a couple little tiny makeup things that I brought with me and easy makeup stuff. So not a ton here, but let's get to it. For eyeshadow, I pretty much wore these two shadows the whole week. I brought these on my work trip with me. They were just like easy one shadow type of looks. I just used my bronzer in my crease, my Too Faced, Chocolate Soleil bronzer, so that's what I did today. I'm wearing actually the second one I'm about to show you. I'll show you this one first, but then I'm wearing the second one I'm about to show you. So these are both ColourPop. This is DGAF and it is beautiful. So this was kind of like my daytime sort of look. Um, I mean, it's not like it was really all that different, my daytime and nighttime look, but I wore this mostly during the day and we went to Arizona. So I think it has a very kind of like warm, deserty Arizona kind of look to it, doesn't it? It's beautiful. It's a very kind of duochrome sort of a shadow. It's very warm, very kind of terracotta, orangey, but then it has some kind of like gold reflect to it. Just that cool duochrome look. So I love this one. And it's one of those that just works really, really well for a one shadow look. And then at nighttime, and also what I'm wearing on my eyes right now is Millionaire. This is amazing. This is so pretty, so glittery. This is kind of like New Year's sort of makeup even because it's so gorgeous. I didn't even use this like foiled or wet on my eyes today. I just straight up put it on with my finger, blended it with a brush. So I literally just have Millionaire and my bronzer on my eyes today. That's it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So it's like a it's like a one shadow, you know, kind of a look, smoky eye type of situation, but really glittery and gorgeous. So it's kind of like a taupey, bronzy sort of a color, but then it's got that like amazing glitter situation in it. So it's beautiful. These would even be really pretty together with maybe just like a, a little dab of millionaire just right in the center of the lid. I didn't try that, but I bet that would be super duper pretty. So yeah. That's pretty much what I did on my eyes this week. That's another reason I love my um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer because it's like a perfect crease color as well as a great bronzer. For blush this week, on my trip I brought a little like two-sided itty bitty little duo thing. I think it was Coastal Scents that I got like in an Ipsy bag or something. And it was okay, like I didn't love it, but it did the trick. So I'm not mentioning that as a favorite because I wasn't like blown out of the water by it. But for travel size, I mean, it was perfect. That's why I hang on to those little things because they're perfect for if you literally just need to take like the bare minimum makeup, but you want some options. So that's what I did. But anyway, this was a favorite that I wore after my trip and before my trip. This is the Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls Blush, and this is in Rose Pearl. And it's really pretty. I've been kind of like organizing my makeup and going through some things. And this is something that I kind of like forgotten about, but it's just a beautiful, glowy pink blush. Like, I really like it and I kind of like forgotten about it. It's sort of like subtly pearly. When I think of pearl, I think of like really like MAC just a wisp. It's nothing like that. It's definitely more of like a subtle sheen to it, but it is really pretty. It's girly on the cheeks. I think it's cute in the packaging kind of bulky, so not great for like storage, but it looks really cute and it's a pretty color. Another blush I grabbed for this week just because of like time constraints and just I needed to get out the door, needed something fast, wasn't feeling like a bunch of steps. I wore Benefits Dallas because this is one of those 
kind of blush bronzer sort of situations. It just like kind of does double duty. It's so pretty. It's really just kind of like a, I don't know. <laughs> what is this? It's like a, I don't know, rosy, rosy brown kind of a thing. Kind of reminds me of um, the one I showed last week from the balm, but I think this one is like more kind of subtle and then maybe a little bit more mauve -y. I don't feel like it's quite as warm as that other one was. What was that? Balm Desert maybe? But still very close. Very kind of same family of like blush, bronzer, easy one step kind of a thing. So I do have bronzer on and this today. So, I mean, you can wear it with bronzer, but you could just wear it by itself. And that's what I did most this week. So it is a great one. I love the packaging. I'm a Texas girl. So I just think that is super duper cute. So love the packaging on it, but it's just a great product. So if you are going on a trip or if you are just in a rush to get out the door, this is a perfect product to grab. You could put this in your crease too. I think this is what I used in my um, quick out the door makeup tutorial. So if you're needing like a quick out the door makeup tutorial or look, you can check out that tutorial because I think I use this one and it's one of my go-to's for fast makeup. For lips this week, I brought these two little minis on my trip and I've also been grabbing for them since then. I've been grabbing for this one the most this week. This is one of the um, Buxom Big and Sexy something or other lipsticks. This is one of the like satiny, shiny type of ones. This is in Rebel and this is gorgeous. I mean, this is a throw it in your purse a throw it in your tiny little carry-on where you're trying to fit everything kind of lipstick. This is just like a never fail you kind of color. It's a pink, but it's a very neutral pink. I mean, it just goes with any makeup look. It's a no-brainer. It's really hydrating and comfortable. So that's kind of why I kept grabbing for it, you know, because Arizona is pretty dry. So my lips are feeling a little bit dry and this was very hydrating but also it was just easy. You know, it doesn't look overdone or anything like that. So really nice. Um, I really do like these lipsticks. I was pretty much obsessed with them when they first came out and then I kind of like put them at the back burner, but I still think that they're great lipsticks. And if you got one, I think Rebel is a great one to start with because it's so neutral, easy. I think you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. And a fun color that I brought with me is one of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks, and this is in Radish. I think I must have gotten this like in a point perk or something or other. Anytime I see one of these tiny little lipsticks come up in a point perk, I grab them because they're just perfect for travel. I mean, they don't take up a lot of, that's a weird looking swatch. What happened there? I don't know, hang on. Y'all know how I feel about my swatches. I gotta get them all nice and even. That's much better, because that was really irritating me. <laughs> So anytime I see one of these little tiny ones pop up in a point perk, I grab them because they, they're perfect for travel. They don't take up a lot of space. They fit in your purse easily. They're light. Side note, I have a lot of lipstick. So a little tiny one takes up less space. I may actually use it up at some point and it's cute and adorable to look at. So I love the little tiny lipsticks. So I love this one specifically too, just because I love this formula, the Amuse Bouche formula, is so creamy and comfortable and hydrating on the lips, but long wearing. So I love the formula and Radish is just a gorgeous kind of like bright, well, not, not like neon bright, but a bright, fun kind of a berry color. It's so gorgeous, just super duper comfortable. At some point I wanna do a lip swatch party for y'all on my Bite Beauty lipsticks on the Amuse Bouche ones and then also my multi sticks. So. At some point, I want to do that for y'all, but I was loving this this week. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!